Hello, Stanley Leonard Bobles here. <sighs> well, sitting here and we're going through some reviews where people they smeared and mocked at my what I said about you know, that was in the Bible. But what come to me in this Holy Spirit wants me to say this. I can't help it, I have to do it. Okay, August 19th, 2021, it's 5.23 a.m. and I'm still up. Okay. People listen, you are in dark. dark. You don't believe the Bible because you want to stay doing your sinful deeds. You will pay someday, it will catch up to you. You reap what you sow. We all reap what we sow. <clears throat> do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. Think about that. How would you like that person to do that to you? You wouldn't like that, no. You don't know anybody until you walk, up, walk in their shoes. You can't judge, but you can say the truth. That's in the Bible. I use the King James Version. It's the truest words as you can get. That was written from the Dead Sea Scrolls. That man, King James, paid money for them to write off of the scrolls. Were all, oh, they went off of shape. They were in jars and that. Don't you fear God? Wow. Who do you fear? You're not scared of God? He is a king. He's also a consuming fire. How would you like to have a fire come after you? Somebody on fire. The Bible says any stubble or anything behind him or in front of him is burned out. Well, who is going to fill his kingdom? He is. Yep. We are in the tribulation. I've said that four or five times before. What man does, that's the tribulation, is what a man does to us. He created that virus, and that is in, in the, the plagues. That's a plague. The whole world was involved in that. The whole entire world. When us Christians go up to heaven, when Jesus comes, God's judgment starts on earth. Those not saved will hide from Jesus and God. Why don't you listen for once? Once in your life, listen, please. I'm only trying to help. I'm not hindering. I'm not condemning you. I'm not doing nothing like that. I'm just telling you the truth. Jesus is coming. We've heard it for years, but he really is now. We're in the tribulation. Starting of it. It's going to be a great tribulation. It's going to get worse. How worse going to be with that virus? People die. They're dropping dead. It's serious. The elderly hurts them worse than anybody, I guess. But even young people are dropping dead. I know this is YouTube, you can only say certain things on there, you can't really uh, scare people, but we're going to have an election coming up. You should hear and read what <laughs> we're going to do if they get in. There's no such thing as a little beer. A little dope, a little lie, a little violence, 
a little crime, a little batter your wife just for a little tiny bit. Hit your wife, give her a black eye, and then, well, no, you can't do that stuff. You can't hit your kids. I got spankings as a kid, but I needed them, and I'm glad I did. They never whacked me in the head and the face. Well, at least my mom did. But uh, that's beside the point. It's all sin. No matter how you do it, there's no such thing as a little tiny bit. Lie a little. No. Sin a little. Smoke a little. Smoking is a sin because it says in the Bible, why to die before your time? And we are the temple of the Holy Ghost for the Lord, to, Jesus and God, to dwell in. And if we're smoking, we're, we're defiling a temple. We're a temple. You will pay dearly, my friends. This is a message that came to me now. Uh, to tell you all, Jesus is coming soon. The white horse has come. He has a crown. The coronavirus. He has a crown. That the crown is a, that's the coronavirus. And the red horse is is China. The black horse is to come. That's famines and high prices in the stores. You might even have to pay $20 for a loaf of bread. I know what's coming. The Bible says. Uh, if you paid $2 for bread, <laughs> what if you paid $20? Uh, they paid $20 for a pack of cigarettes. I haven't smoked since 1997. Thank God. I haven't drank since 1993. What would you do if your pack of cigarettes was, was 80 or $90? They'll still buy them. They're paying 20 and some dollars now. High prices. The food will cost lots. Gas, too. And the last horse is the pale horse. That's death and hell follows him repent now and turn to Jesus I love you all I'm Stanley Leonard Bowles I just this message came to me by the Holy Spirit and I must tell you and I love you all thank you goodbye